All right, Colton Brennan, St. Albert moves on. Uh, Colton, you guys really kind of able to pull away late, keep your season alive. Just what's going through your mind right now? You know, we're really happy about it. We knew we could win. We just had to come out and execute, play at our best, and just not try to play down to their level, but just play at our level. The last couple of games for you guys, I know, were probably a lot closer and a lot more dramatic than you'd have liked. Uh, you guys are able to separate yourselves in the six. Uh, was there kind of an emphasis on you know not letting off the gas coming into today? Yeah, for sure. The last couple of games, we kind of just started coasting, let them come back. But in this game, we knew that we just wanted to put the nail in the coffin, not let off. Talk about your day at the plate. What did you see? Uh, what was it that clicked? Well, I was just really focusing on trying to hit fastball. Anything that was close, just swing at it, hit it hard. Hope it doesn't go to anyone. Top of the order was really, really good for you guys tonight. Obviously, you and Cy, uh, Isaac, and Brennan. Um, what what has that been like all year, knowing that you have a guy in front of you, a guy behind you, uh, that can put the ball in play and move runners? You no, know, it just gives you a lot of confidence to know that if you get on base, you're probably going to score. Everyone can hit the ball. Everyone can hit the ball hard. You just got to hit it to where people aren't. Looking ahead, uh, state semifinal coming up. What do you think this team's capable of? Well, we we know that we can win any game that we play. We just have, we just have to come and show up and play to our best, not play down to the other team, and just execute. Well, Brandon, you guys are moving on. Uh, one of the final four teams. How does it feel? It feels great, obviously, at a state tournament. And just been through so much with these guys, especially last year. Coming up a little short in the first round. Just great feeling to get past the first one. Yeah, you mentioned the heartbreaker last year, and then I know you weren't there three years ago, but a heartbreaker there as well. So does, does it mean a little extra to, to get that win out of the way? Oh yeah, this is. I think this is really gonna give us a lot of confidence winning the first one because of what you said in the past past years. So yeah, this is great. This is great. Big night for you offensively. Three hits, three RBI. Uh, I think all of which came in like the first three innings. What were you seeing? Yeah, I was feeling pretty good at the plate. All my hits were on fastballs, and uh, yeah, I was just seeing it great out there. So yeah. Where do you feel this team has grown the most? I think we've grown a lot hitting-wise. Start the year, we had a couple guys missing because of spring sports, but we've really come together. We we click really well, and I think hitting-wise, we're hitting really good around the board. How scary is that for opponents? I mean, you guys have been hitting well all year, but you guys are continuing to make the strides. I mean, it was evident tonight uh, when you guys were able to, to just nonchalantly post four there in the sixth. Yeah, I think 18 hits tonight was was big. I think it was big on all of our lineup, just, just to get confidence in the state tournament. And then coming in, I think I think we're close to about 400. Our team's batting average, so I think that's a big intimidating factor, and I think it's I think it's big in our in our winning. I think it was 391 coming into tonight. Uh, semifinal coming up. Could see a Tri Center team who's hitting even better. Could see an All Burnett team that's got a good pitching staff. Obviously, you don't know, but what do you guys need to do, regardless of the opponent, to move on? Yeah, I think I think we just need to not not focus on the opponent opponent too much. Just play our game, play our ball, and I think that's where we'll strive the most and make it make it the farthest. All right, coach, uh, you guys are moving on. I know after you maybe made it a little bit more dramatic than you guys would have liked down the stretch, but you're one of the final four in Class One A. Uh, your thoughts? Yeah, you know, um, I give a lot of credit to Lisbon. They're, I mean, that's a great team. They threw some really good guys. Um, we had to really battle. We had to get the ball, you know, put the ball in play. And um, we had to play some defense. And the pitchers, pitchers kind of struggled a little bit here and there. But overall, I think we, we did a good job. You guys, the last, you know, it's been a decade since you guys have won a state tournament game. Uh, the last two times you got here, you could call them heartbreakers. Uh, what does it mean to maybe kind of exercise some demons with that? Yes, you know, and I, I keep going back to July 1st where we talked about, you know, if you want to do this, you got to go undefeated in July and that's something that stuck with them so they're gonna they're gonna give their all and they're gonna try to come out with that W. Top of the order was money tonight uh, you know obviously Brendan had a great game cited some nice things Colton did some some good things as well what did you see that you liked? Yeah um, you know last four days we've been doing a lot of hitting you know a lot of different variations of velocity in that so you know coming into this we I felt we were gonna hit the ball pretty good and um, Top lineup did did do a good job, and that middle half we got to work on some things. But overall, I think I think they did a good job. 
four runs for you guys in the six to give yourself a cushion. Uh, obviously, that was huge. Yes, and I think two of them came with two outs. Yep. yep. I was kind of upset when Monahan popped up there with no outs, bases loaded, but um, you know, Lennon actually Lennon came through in the clutch, and that's what we try to do. We try to just get it to the next guy and pick up pick up the guy before him and keep it going down the line. Getting into the next guy was kind of the way the pitching worked tonight as well. Luke gives you guys four good innings. Eric comes in for the fifth and sixth, and then Sy is able to close it out. What did you like from your rotation tonight? Yeah, um, you know, Luke Luke battles. He had a little struggle there at the beginning um, with some you know pitch locations and that, but he'll give us he'll give us four four good innings. And it was nice to keep him under that 65, so he's still available. Um, Eric Eric is just a, he's a baller. He'll come in. I mean, he doesn't overpower you, but he hits locations. He changes speed. And then side's just kind of starting to throw again. So, Looking ahead at the time we record this, uh, we don't know who it's going to be, either Tri-Center or Auburn. I'm sure you guys know enough about Tri-Center. Uh, but what's it going to take for you guys to advance, regardless of who it is? Um, again, you know, we got to limit free bases. You can't, give them, you can't give them bases on walks and errors. Um, Hitting-wise, I think, you know, I really feel strongly this team can hit with anybody. Or hit any pitcher, but um, it's it's just it's got to come down to pitching and defense. 